what's up extras um i made egg models out of clay so i'm gonna go over them so to start off we have a regular egg citizen no well, regular egg um eggaduba these are gonna be characters for my future game called egg so that's egg these are all based on characters from Harold Warriors Age of Calamity. Um, now we have Terrico 2, which um, I post him like this. And he has triangles on his eyes. So that's him. Um, Terrico 1, um, I don't know if this one's finished. There's still more clay that needs to be done, and he's missing an ear. I don't know where it is, but I might continue on that soon. Now we got some Swirly Poo. Nice. Swirly Poo. Now we have a Golden Egg. Not all of these are, like the Poo and Golden Egg are not for Egg of the Game. Just like the goat udders I have right here. Or this golden poo. Giant golden poo. And now we have Pilgore the goat from Goat Simulator. Which you guys are probably familiar with. I got him. Uh, he has a tongue. He has his horns. Um, and his stripe and all of that stuff. Cool. This guy used to have others if you saw my any other videos with him. But that's Goat Simulator 1 Pilgor. Back to egg characters. Now we have a Malice Eye. This one's a big Malice Eye. So. There's that. Um, no, there's last two. And they're the, the brother gods or whatever. So, we have Egg Eater right here. This is the first time this model's been on the channel. This was a, a project that I started a while back. Not too long. But, I started off by making the base out of tin foil. All of these, most of these, some of these do have tin foil on them. As you can see, tin foil. And, uh, like, right now, I don't really have any more tin foil, so I'll have to buy more or something like that. But when he had one layer of tin foil, he didn't have a spike, he didn't have his tentacles or his eye. It just looks like this, but no clay, just tin foil and stuff. And then I added another layer that has his spike. Then I added layers of clay. Which basically, when I layered it with clay. When I layered this guy with clay. That's when I gave him his tentacles. But this, this, this one isn't as cool as the other clay. Because the rest of it feels like foamy-ish. Like foam and, and the other ones like the mouse eye is solid and this is like squishy like you see that it's a bit squishy it's like bendy and stuff anyways so once it was all layered with clay i had to paint all of the clay black well some of it because some of it used to be white clay, as you can see, little bits of white. And then after that, I gave him his eye. And then his black pupil. So that's that detail. And then Sky Egg is the last one. Here he is. Sky Egg. In all of his gl his skyish glory. There's one I had to redo because he didn't look as good as I wanted so I took him back and I redesigned him 
because his wing was hanging off, it was very bad, and his legs broke. So I gave him a new leg, I, I glued on the other leg, no. and I gave him more paint, and I, I gave him better paint, a better type of blue, as you can see. This type of blue right here, this light uh, blue, this lightish blue, that used to be the colour for the wing, so... If you flip them around here, it's, it's, it's not really as well as you would think it. So, at the first time, he didn't have any legs or, or his lower waist. In fact, he just was flat like this. First, I made the base, which was his shell. Then I sculpted on some wings, I think. Then I added his little hats and ears thing. Then his and then his eye, and then I made the lower waist, and then gave him his legs, painted it all, and boom! I don't know what to say now, so get out of here. Bye.